steel connection using 2001 and 2015 NSCP. Hi, hello, welcome back to Gilisanya Engineering Videos, your daily supply of solutions to engineering problems. If you like what you see, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified every time we upload new videos. Alright, today we will discuss steel connection, specifically tension members, tension connection using the 2001 and 2015. So first, I will solve it using the 2001. Then after that, we will compare the result with 2015. Okay, so ito yung gagawin natin dito sa ating, of course, this is only applicable sa Pinas, kaya pwede, pwede tayo magtagalog dito. Okay, so we have here the connection. We have the problem here. Alright, given the following data of the slip critical tension connection shown. Alright, this is a bat, probably a bat connection with the main plate is 22 mm thick and the side plates are 12 mm thick. So connected uh, to the plates, the, the plates are connected with 922 mm diameter bolts, A325 bolts in standard holes. Okay, the plate is 836 with FY and FU given. Okay, we are given the dead load of 450. Okay, and then considering the plates only, so not considering the bolts anymore, only the plates, compute the safe live load using the 2001 and the 2015 NSCP. Okay, by the way, slip critical. Dalawang klase ka rin uh, kasi ang connection. No? We have the bearing type and the slip critical. The bearing type depends on uh, uh, the shear between rib, uh, of the fasteners of the bolt. Okay, so the strength is dependent on shear. Of course, the plate will also have to be checked. Okay, the slip critical depends on friction. So the tightening of bolts will will compress its elements. So of course, there there is friction resistance between the plates uh, at the contact surface. So yan ang sinasabi nating slip critical. So your bearing is uh, dependent on bearing. Bearing, uh, no, shearing strength of the bolt. Okay? And then, uh, to compare uh, 2001 and 2015, we have to assume a live load. So, kukunin natin dito yung, uh, I mean, dead load. Dead, assume ako ng dead load, kukunin natin yung live load. No, ano yung live load if you will use the 2001 and the 2015? And in the 2015, gagamitin lang, lang natin yung LRFD. Dalawa kasi yung 2015, no? So, we have ASD and then the LRFD. Okay? So, let's start. So, the plate is uh, 350 mm wide. And then, the main plate is 22 mm thick. The side plates are the same width and 12 mm thick. Well, as you can see, if you consider the plates, no? The total side plate thickness is 12 times... 12 plus 12 is 24. While the main plate is 22. So, this shows that we have to consider the main plate. Now, the thickness is 22 compared to this one. Uh, times 2 of that kasi dalawa yan, 24. So, that will not govern. No? So, what will govern here for the plate is the main plate. Alright, the bolt spacings are given. So, 100, 100. The edge distance here is 75 mm. Along the length, along the longitudinal side, we have 40 mm ang edge distance dito. And then 75, 75 mm, and then this is 40 mm. Okay, so let's start. Uh, we will start with 2001 NSCP. Okay, so we have to read the code first. We will base everything on the code, not on the style of the examiner. Okay, so this is the code for 2001. Section 504.2, allowable stress, tensile member. The allowable stress FT shall not exceed 0.6 FY on the gross area nor 0.5 FU on the effective net area. In addition, pin connected members shall meet the requirements of section. Okay, uh, let's not consider that anymore. Then, black shear strength shall be checked at the end connection of tension members in accordance with section 510.5. And then, uh, gross area. The gross area of a member at any point shall be determined by summing the products of the thickness and the gross width of each element 
as measured normal to the axis of the member. And then for angles, the gross width shall be the sum of the width of the legs less the thickness. If you notice, this provision was not mentioned anymore in the recent codes. No? Because for me, this is just exaggeration. Parang in-explain niya, nakakalito tuloy. No? But explain mo pa yung gross area. Nasa 2015-2010, wala na yan. No? Net area. Kahit ito, wala na rin yan. No? Anyway, basahin lang natin, the net area of a, of a member, uh, the net area AN of a member is the sum of the products of the thickness and the net width of each element Element computed as follows. All right, The width of bolt or rivet hole shall be taken as 1.6 millimeters greater than the nominal dimension of the hole. Take note, 1.6 mm. Sad to say, hindi niyang ginagamit ng examiner. But anyway, that has to be added. That is a uh, one sixteen of an inch, one sixteenth of an inch, na so uh, whole diameter plus one sixteenth of an inch. Yun yung gagamitin natin na uh, hole, the width of hole. And then we have also here the standard holes, kasi sinabi doon sa problem na uh, the bolts are in standard holes. For twenty two mm, the standard hole is twenty four mm. So from 12 to 22 mm mag-aadd tayo ng halos 2 mm, na? Eh, dito 2 mm dito parang 1 mm lang, ayan, 2 mm ang inad niya. Sa standard hole mayroon ding oversized hole. Okay, dito tayo. So we will use 24 mm hole and we will add 1.6 mm in our computation. Okay? So take note of that. Allowable stress 0.6 FY sa gross and 0.5 FU on the effective net area. And as sinabi din dito, Ah, mamaya, we will mention about that. Okay, so let's have first the gross area. This is the easiest part. So, ang gagawin natin, kukupitin natin yung safe P based on gross area, net area, and black shear. Or we call that the shear rupture. And then, pipiliin natin yung pinakamaliit doon sa mga stresses or forces na yun. Okay? So, unahin natin yung gross area. So, gross area is very easy to compute. So, for the gross area, the width of the plate is 350 mm and the thickness of this main plate is 22 mm so that the gross area is 350 times 22 or 7,700 square mm. Okay? So, meron na tayong gross area. So, we can now solve the, uh, the P. Okay? So, based on this formula, the gross area, the allowable stress is 0.6 Fy. So, therefore, P is equal to 0.6 Fy times Ag. So, this is the P based on the gross area. So, substitute the values, 0.6 Fy, Fy is 248, and then Ag is 7,700. So, P equals 1145.76. So, this is the P, the capacity based on the gross area. Sometimes exam, ito lang yung lumalabas. Na? What is the capacity based on gross area? Okay, that can be a question already in the board. Okay, next, net area. So, let's have the net area. Okay, net area. So, this is it. So, again, uh, the hole we will use is 24 mm because the diameter of the bolt is 22 mm. It's in the table. Uh, normally, in the board exam, binibigay yan ang examiner. Yang hole diameter. So, you don't have to worry about that. Na? But if you are doing it in actual practice, uh, this is the standard hole, 24 mm. Okay, so let's compute the net area and that will be somewhere here. Of course, the frontmost bolt, and that can be straight line. This one here. Na? So, if that will be tear out, that will tear out, it will look like this. Yan. 350 mm wide, 22 mm thick. So, that red lines are, that red areas are the net area. So, to compute that, well, the hole is 24 mm. So, we have the net area. Oh, sinabi dito, the width of bolt, okay, 502.3.2. The width of bolt or rivet hole shall be taken as 1.6 mm greater than the nominal dimension of the bolt. So our net area is 350 minus 3 holes. But for the hole, we will add the 1.6. Take note. 
we will add the 1.6. That's, that's in the code. No? Nasa code yan. And then times 3 kasi tatoy yung butas natin. 1, 2, 3. Along this path. Look. Along this path here. Alright? And then the 22 mm is the thickness of the plate. So that gives us the total area of that red shaded areas there. So the area is 6,010.44 square mm. Alright? So that's the net area. Now, for the effective area, kasi silabi dito, no? on effective area, 0.5 FU. Okay, there is a, a section in the code that says, effective net area, when the load is transmitted directly to each of the cross-sectional elements by connectors, the effective area shall be equal or is equal to the net area. So as you can see here, the bolts are arranged uniformly and then the area is transmitted the load is transmitted equally on the entire area na so unlike angles wherein the load the bolts are only on one leg so that the distribution between the bolt stress and the uh, the transition or the uh, concentration of the load which is on the bolt will not be uniformly distributed along the legs if the i'm talking of the angle na? Angles. So the bolt is normally located only on one leg. So we have to apply this U. We will have it later on in other lessons natin. Na? Okay, in this case, our net effective area equals the net area. Okay, so substitute. Na? So P based on the effective net area is 0.5 FU times the effective net area. So that will give us 0.5 times 400 times 6,010. Okay, so that's 1,202.08 kilo newtons. Alright, so we now have yung gross kanina and then this is now the net area. Okay, and the third one. But again, this can also be a question in the board. This can be the question and palagi itong lumalabas sa board exam. No? Ang tanong dyan, what is the capacity of the connection based on the net area. Alright. Now, let's have block shear or shear rupture. Okay. Sa experience namin, maraming nahihirapan dito ng mga students. Talagang hindi nila mabisualize. I don't know why. Alright. So, dito, block shear. Uh, basa muna tayo ng code. Nasa section 510.5. Sinabi dito, allowable shear rupture. At beam end connections where the top plunge is coped and in similar situations where failure might occur by shear along plane through the fasteners or by combination of shear along plane through fasteners plus tension along perpendicular plane, the allowable stress uh, is 0.3 FU on the net shear area and 0.5 FU on the net tension area. So, diyan ang sinabi ng code, section 510.5, 2001 NSCP. You know why I discussed 2001? Some would say, sir, ano naman yan? I, uh, obsolete na. Pero to tell you, ito pa rin yung ginagamit ng examiner. Na? Ito pa sa steel, with regard to steel. Na? Nagbigay siya recently yung mga ano na, 2015, but not so much. Ito pa rin yung marami sa kanya. Na? Pero sige lang. Uh, kaya nga, in this video, I will also show you later the 2010 NSCP. Okay, so let's consider, let's analyze what are the possible paths no, of the uh, shear rupture paths here. Okay, sige. Now, first, let's consider, take note, ha? Uh, I did not just, I, I did not draw the other plate here. So when this plate is pulled to the right, one possible path is Shear rupture is shear here, tension dito, at saka shear dito. Gano? Ganon. Na? Magigi, ma si shear yan, ito naman matetension. If we draw that in 3D, it will look like that. I hope that's very clear. That blue area there is the shear and the red is the tension. Okay? So the width here, it will be 75, 75, and 40. That is 190 mm. While this one here is uh, 100 and 100, that's uh, 200 mm. The thickness of the plate is 22 mm. 
So let's compute the uh, the tension area and the shear area. First, the tension area. The tension area will be okay. Take note: two hundred minus. Let's com let's deduct the holes. How many holes will be there? Okay, it's not three. Remember, it's not three. It will be one hole at the middle and one half hole at its ends. That becomes two holes total. Two and then hole plus one point six mm. We always have to add the one point six. But the notice namin sa board exam, hindi niya ginagamit yung 1.6. Nah? Pero subukan nyo lang din. Kung wala sa choice na mag-add ka ng 1.6, then tanggalin mo yung 1.6. But that's according to the code. I cannot sacrifice not including that. Alright, times 22 mm. So this is the net tension area. 3 to 7, 3.6 square mm. And then the net shear area is this blue area here. Okay, how much is that? 190 Ilang butas lahat? Isa, dalawa, at saka, isa here, isa here, at saka kalahati. So that will be 2 and 1 half. So that's 190 minus 2 and 1 half of the whole times 22. And take note, dalawa yan. Meron pa dito sa other side. Dito. Ito yun. No? Kaya times 2. So that will give us 5,544 square mm. Okay? So finally, for that path, ang P natin can now be solved. For the tension is 0.5 FU and for the shear is 0.3 FU. So, ito yung lalabas. Okay, substitute the values and I hope you can follow that already. Okay, so the value is 1,320 kilo newton. 1,320 kilo newtons. Okay, I hope you got that. All right. Now, let's another path. Let's another path. Let's another path. Here. Shear dito, tsaka tension tuloy-tuloy hanggang dito sa edge. Ganito. Yan. In 3D, it will look like this. Okay. Klarong-klaro. Ano? Okay. In the same manner, so ang ating tension area. By the way, dimensions muna. This is the same 190. And this will be 100, 175. So, this is 275. Alright. The thickness is 22 mm. So, the tension is what? 275. Okay. Minus ilang butas? Isa, dalawa, at saka kalahati. Two and one half. Okay. So, that will give us 4642 square mm. Alright. And the shear area is very similar to this. Except lang, walang times two. The same as this. Wala lang times to kasi iisa lang siya. Unlike kanina, dalawa. Meron dito. Okay, isa lang, no? Klaro. So, okay. That's 2772 square mm. So, finally, P based on that path is 0.5 FU times the net tension area and the shear area. So, that gives us 1,261.04 kN and this will govern the black shear strength. Okay ba? So, yan ang ating black shear strength. Again, that can be the question in the board exam. Maraming beses na itong lumabas. Yan palagi yung mga tanong niya. Okay. So, let's now summarize those uh, forces that we got. The loads. Na? I-summarize na natin. Na? So, you have here, uh, based on gross area, we got this already kanina in part uh Based on the net area, we have this already, 1,202. And based on the black shear strength is 1,261. Okay? Well, obviously, the safe B is the smallest. Okay? The, weak, the, the weakest of those values. You do not use the strongest. It's common sense. Na? So, yung pinaka weak point, and that will be based on the gross area here, 1145.76. Okay, so that is your safe P. Now, then, ang tanong dito is the live load, alright? So, the tensile capacity is the dead, there is no applicable load factors for ASD in 2001. Kaya, the total load is simply the dead plus the live, and this shall not exceed 1145.76. You get that? It shall not exceed that value. So, solving for PL, so PL must not exceed 
1145.76 minus the dead load of 4PP kaya PL must not exceed 695.76 kilo newtons. All right. So that's it. Ha? Huh? This is 2001 NSCP. Okay? I hope you learned a lot from this video. So this is part 1. In part 2, I will discuss. Abangan nyo. I-discuss natin ang 2015 NSCP. Kaya nga, nag-design talaga ako ng problem na meron dead load. Kasi hindi natin ma-compare ang dalawang code kung total load lang. Kasi mag-iba. Sa eh, 2001, wala tayong load factors. Sa 2010 meron o sa 2015 meron tayong load factors kaya so we will use the same data and then we will solve the live load using the 2015 NSCP. Actually the 2015 and the 2010 for LRFD still are almost the same. Okay? So that's it. So I hope you learned a lot and uh abangan nyo, ha part 2 of this video we will be discussing uh 2015 NSCP. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this video. So, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon so that you'll be notified every time we have new videos. Thank you so much for watching.